Well, sure it did. There's a sizable divot in your arm. I'd call that savage. Talking to Tom here about the pillow. Mila says she wants powers. So do I. What kind of powers do you like? Like you want water to come out of your hand? Yeah. So when we're camping and there's no shower, you can just go like this. Yeah. And then we can all take showers from your hand. Yeah. It's a good idea. And then they done. And then when we run out of water in our camper, you can just go like this to our camper. And you can fill up water in our camper. So you don't need water jugs. Don't need water jugs. You can go like this to take a shower. No, if you need drink, I can do this. The sweet power. Get ready. We're gonna do our Spanish class now. Our Spanish teacher is coming. I don't want Spanish. Today we're starting our Spanish lessons. We talked to the owner if she would recommend somebody who would do Spanish lessons, private Spanish lessons for us. And she recommended her daughter, which I don't mind it at all. Her daughter speaks English, is fluent in Spanish, so I think it'll be great. So we're gonna do that three times a week. Who are these weirdos in the window? <laughs> we're, gonna do, we're gonna do lessons three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at 2 p.m. And um, today's Thursday, this is our first week. We're trying to squeeze in two this week, so we're doing it Today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, and then starting next week, we'll have three weeks of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, I mean, this is actually happening surprisingly fast. We've already been here four or five days. Today is Thursday. We got here Sunday. So, before we know it, our time here is going to be over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any videos during, but we'll see. Hi. I'm Valerie. Dan. Nice, nice to meet you. So we just had our Spanish class, our first one. We're gonna have it again tomorrow. I'm a little torn on how we think we should learn. We just go with it, Dan. Yeah. We'll keep going, we'll see what happens. Can I get some? Well, we are making another trip to the store. Daddy, what if we don't remember where the place where we were at? Oh, we don't remember. I'm trying to get there and get back before dark. We are out last night after dark, which is fine, nothing happened to us, but you know, we just don't like to be out after dark, especially somebody told us about the area that we're in, especially like down closer to the beach. There could be some security problems. We've not experienced anything. We were down there last night and we ate dinner at this fish taco spot. Really nice guy that owns it. Lived in Hawaii for like 13 years. <clears throat> but nevertheless, you know, keep yourself always safe. As safe as possible is always a good idea, regardless of what anybody says. We could use some more cash, and lately, the last couple of days, the peso has just been tanking. So now the exchange rate from dollars to pesos is more than uh, 18 and a half pesos for every dollar. So it's not the highest that it's been since we've been here. Back in February, it peaked over 19 pesos per dollar, but it's been about in the 17s, low 18s ever since that. It didn't stay that high for very long. So I think it's a good time to go and pull out some more pesos from the ATM. We promised when we were at the hotel in Selena Cruz that we would do some Q&A. So a few of you asked questions in that video, so we're going to take the opportunity to answer that real quick. First one. The question is, what is in the wooden box on the dash of the truck? Maybe you already mentioned it already in a past video. Safe travels. Okay. The wooden box. I assume you mean that right there. I don't know if you can see. That plaque right there says Rudy. That is our dog that passed away back in 2007. Right? October 
October of 2007, our dog, she was a 10-year-old Siberian Husky that we've had since she was just weeks old. She passed away and back then Ava was just, Ava was born January 2007. So Ava was 10 months old when this happened. And if you guys have been following us for a long time on the blog, you may know that shortly after that is when we started traveling. And we got the Airstream. We got first a smaller trailer uh, first and then, then we got the Airstream shortly after that. Then we started full timing. And I'll put a picture of her on this video so you guys can see what she looks like and how old Ava was when uh, this all happened. So she was a big motivation for us. We kind of saw that life is precious and it's not forever. So that amongst a few other things were kind of motivations for us to leave our old life and enter this new one. And you know, more than eight years later, we're still doing it. I should have started it with <laughs> it's a super downer. I asked a question many videos ago, what it's like being in a camper in Mexico without AC. If you guys have been watching the last few videos, since it got since it's gotten really hot, uh, we don't have AC in our camper, and we don't really want to have it because it. First of all, they don't really have a good way of putting one in. When we were at the factory, they were experimenting with some small units like that were mounted like I think under some shelves in some places where we have storage space right now which we desperately need every square inch of storage in the camper so we always just thought you know what if we needed AC it's time to move and go somewhere else and cooler so that's kind of been working out it's, but the, the exception is that here when we don't we don't have AC here and we need AC so we just moved out of the trailer temporarily not trailer I mean camper but our camper is surprisingly well insulated, so when it's really hot out, even when there's sun directly on it, it's surprisingly cooler. It's cooler than the Airstream. Right. The Airstream is not nearly as well insulated as this uh, camper for some reason. And I think part of it is because uh, it's got an aluminum exterior, aluminum ribs, and an aluminum interior, so it's all metal and that heat just passes right through. So. It doesn't have as many windows. Airstream, has, we have a lot of windows. Right, the windows in the Airstream really, really let a lot of heat in and provide a zero insulating value. We've been bearing some pretty intense heat and we've been dealing with it like in Sayulita. It was pretty hot, but we were in shade and we got some uh, 12 volt fans that works really Daddy, well. I, I'm going, we need the bowl. Should we store that up there? Yeah, we're going to the store right here. Okay. I thought you were sleeping this whole time. So that's how we've been dealing with the heat. I, I, um, I, 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 I
My question was, do I have any? You don't have any smash fingers. Uh, do I have any? No, you don't either. I wish I did. All right. Say bye again. <laughs> what flavor is it? You guys all got the same flavor. Who's gonna tell me what flavor it is? Rainbow flavor. Rainbow. Rainbow.